six months ago, we decided to leave Switzerland and embark on a new journey as digital nomads. My fiance, my four-year-old daughter and myself have done and seen a lot of cool things in the meantime, like a Muay Thai in Kozamui, horse riding on the Gili Islands, we watched elephants, pigs and even tigers in Phuket and we've met a lot of cool people from all over the world. Today in this video, I want to share with you five highlights of this journey as digital nomads and if you're thinking now of the villas and the pools and all of that, couldn't be further from the truth. When I think of what makes this trip so special, then those five things come to mind. Number one, this trip really brought our little family closer. And I don't think I need to explain that. It's kind of self-explanatory. We've been traveling for so long as a family. We go from one country to another. We move apartments all the time. And there is no sister or cousin or my parents are not around who could potentially look after Lara. That means we're spending so much time together, whether we go to the gym together, cook together, eat together. We spend all weekends, every evening we do something. And I would say the, the family vibes that we developed is just amazing. And I would say it's better than never before. Also, Gabriela, my fiance, now works at least part-time for gym performance. She does videos and some other things, which is super cool. So this would be my first highlight. Number two, my stress levels are so much lower. And I can kind of see why that is, especially last year, I would work a lot. I would work from Monday to Sunday without ever taking a day off. And obviously this would lead to exhaustion after some point. You cannot work every single day exactly like you cannot work out every single day, at least not at 100% effort. You need to take breaks. And here again, because we're kind of forced to do things together and because there are so many things to do, we do like, a Saturday trip, sometimes also a Sunday day trip, and this helps a lot, right? Sometimes we go on a boat trip, sometimes we just go to the beach here, we go and eat out, we sometimes just go to a recovery place where you do nothing else than lay around, jump in the pool, maybe jump in an ice bath, and that's it. And those little things that really make a difference. What's more is that I kind of have some distance to my business. So my business is 100% online. However, last year I would have a lot of online coaching clients in my region, right? In, in the center of Switzerland. And whenever I would go for a walk or whenever I would uh, make groceries, there was a chance of running into a client. And don't get me wrong, if you're a client of mine, I don't hate you, that's not the case. But if I go for a walk, then that's me time. Maybe I want to listen to a podcast, maybe uh, I need to think about something. Maybe I just don't want to have any communication at all. And if I run into someone, then, you know, I don't really get the full benefit. Um, and then also because it's warm and sunny, I just love to go out and go for walks, right? The 10,000 steps every single day is super, super easy. I'm a summer person. I love the sun and, uh, I think this too contributes to me feeling more relaxed. It gives a little bit of this vacation mode. Maybe it's the vitamin D I get from the sun. I just noticed, my fiance noticed that my stress is much lower. So this is another thing I really love about this trip. Third highlight, we're experiencing a lot of self-discovery and self-exploration. And this is something I realized way back in 2014 when I went to the United States for seven months just by myself. When you're doing things by yourself, then you actually learn what you like and what you dislike. Also, as I always say, your surrounding affects your decisions, what you make and what you don't make. But when you're on your own, then you need to make your decisions on your own, right? There is no mother or teacher or anyone who tells you what to do and what is right and what not. And sometimes you make stupid decisions, but at least you realize, oh, this was not something for me. I didn't like kayaking. With my fiance, and this is a very good example, 
she went snorkeling. Now, it didn't came to mind for me because like, I don't like fish, I don't really like the sea, I like the beach, but not the sea. And she absolutely loved it. In fact, she came back from the snorkeling tour and just booked another one, right? Something she wouldn't discover if we weren't here. For me, it was more like, well, taking a ball, going out to play soccer with my daughter, with random kids here, or maybe just messing around with like this, these kids, it's so much fun. And again, probably because I was working a lot and focused on my business, I totally forgot about those little things. So this is something very, very cool. And this is why I would everyone recommend to travel by themselves at least once in their life. And now in this setting, as a family, it works really well as well. Fourth highlight of this journey, I really found my passion for fitness again. Now, it wasn't that I lost my passion or hated working out, not at all, actually. But there was a time when I went to the gym just for the sake of going. I really didn't enjoy it that much anymore. And this is not good, right? Because, well, this is my job now. I coach other entrepreneurs and fathers to get fit and get in shape. And in the very beginning, when I started my business, I told myself, man, this business is going to work as long as you're passionate about it. Now, I think people wouldn't tell because like, usually I'm very, very passionate. Now, this this passion, you know, this level of passion would go down just a little bit. So I was still passionate, but not as passionate, if that makes sense. Um, I would say people wouldn't notice, but now here in Asia, maybe because we're living at the beach and I'm all the time shirtless or in a tank top like now, maybe um, because there's Muay Thai around, maybe there's uh, all these cool things like the Ninja Warrior course and, and people really live the, the healthy lifestyle. I just fell in love again. It's so, so cool. I go for runs, even with the heat. I, I go on the bike, like I go to the gym six times a week, right? This is also more than I would usually go. Um, I go for a swim and I, I just like love being here. I love going out in nature. Um, so I'm really, really grateful to have this passion again, because at the end of the day, um, again, it's my job. And my mission, my mission is to prove everyone out there that it's possible to be in good physical shape as a father, as a business owner, and as a traveler, right? And this combination, I mean, it's not easy. It's not easy at all to stay in shape, but here I am and all I have to do is really document my journey because I have so many challenges and whenever I face a challenge, I have an idea for a video or when a client comes and says, okay, I eat out two times a day, how can I handle this? I can give them an answer because this is what I do, right? We haven't cooked in like three months, right? We go out very, very often, right? We, you know, I'm, I'm still busy with, with work, with family, and I tell, look, this is what I do. This is how I make sure I can go to the gym and I just can give them all my insights and my experiences, which helps them tremendously. Because imagine if I was 20 years old, I wouldn't have a family, I wouldn't have a business. And then I, I uh, coach someone who is a family father who has two businesses. They cannot relate. And, and the advice from this 20 year old, nah, not useful. My opinion, all right? I don't wanna attack anyone. But yeah, here I am. I feel strong physically, I feel strong mentally in a really, really good place. I really love going to the gym. I need to make sure that I don't push too hard. Uh, one rest day a, a week is needed and I need to make sure that I uh, take that. The fifth highlight I want to share with you is the connections I'm making on this journey. It's so freaking cool, really. It started in our first month in, in Kozumui. Obviously, I would go to the gym and I would meet a lot of like-minded people. I also would run into some Swiss. One is Timo, he's a general hotel manager in Kozumui. 
and he was willing to try out Catalyst Sleep, which is my new product, my new supplement to optimize sleep. So I was in Phuket, I sent him over the, the supplement to try, he loved it. Um, this is just one example, like how easy it is for me to make connections, obviously in the gym. Another one also in the gym, uh, shout out to Nem. He is from Canada. I met him in Phuket as well, uh, in the gym. Like I went out with him to eat. We had some very good conversations about business, about relationships and just life in general. He's a bit older than me, so he gave some wisdom over to me. It was just amazing. A conversation I still can uh, remember. It was like two or three months back. And he also was willing to try out Catalyst Sleep, which was amazing because he had a background in the pharma industry and so he could exactly tell okay this is good for this and that reason another third contact i made was an expat from the uk who is now willing who is now living in phuket he came actually to krabi now back to phuket and he had this inspiring story about him having a heart attack that he survived and turning his life 180 degrees. Now he lives here, goes to the gym, eats healthy and all of that. And I even invited him onto the podcast. So there's an episode I recorded with him. It's super, super cool. Uh, actually, all of those guys I meet, um, I really appreciate those connections. I cannot say I make lifelong friends, maybe one or another whenever they you know, are close, maybe they're in Switzerland once, or I go to Canada or whatnot, maybe we meet up, but just like having this connection, sit down with them, speak, exper uh, sharing experiences about life and, and working out with them, it's, it's just like absolutely amazing, I really enjoy that. So these were the five highlights of our journey so far. As said, there is not a particular place or this one particular trip. Although, you know, the Villa Cosmui was amazing and the trip we did here to the, to the island, I don't recall the name, was absolutely beautiful. But what really stands out is this change in lifestyle, right? It's not one thing, it's like all these little things that are happening on a day-to-day -day basis. I really feel like since we did this move, we are finally the, the pilot of our plane. We are finally the, the driver of our bus, right? We're not just a passenger who like does whatever the driver is doing, but now we took over control and we just do what we like and we don't do what we dislike. And I feel free. I feel good physically, emotionally in a really good place. And honestly, I, I don't intend to go back, at least not for now. I just enjoyed too much and I feel I'm, I'm in a very good place. I want to know about you, what your takeaway is from this video, but you also value those little things, those experiences more than materialistic things like a car, like a villa or whatnot, or yeah, just let me know your thoughts about this. And I hope I will see you again on this channel. Subscribe to it. I will post more of these videos, but also workout videos, nutrition related videos. Just do me a favor, press the subscribe button. And with that being said, cheers from Krabi and until soon.